And finally tonight, a few more words on the Supreme Court. Sight of more flowy black robes than Mariah Carey packing for a funeral. <laughs> uh, if, you, if you remember from earlier, the Senate is stalling confirmation hearings for Merrick Garland. But we at Last Week Tonight do not have the luxury of time on this. Because if there is even a chance that Garland might be confirmed, that is going to impact our all-dog Supreme Court. <laughs> The, these are the dogs that we use to reenact Supreme Court oral arguments because cameras are still not allowed in the courtroom. Now, this, this new dog will have some big paw prints to fill. Because while Antonin Scalia was a divisive figure on the court, Bulldog Scalia was universally <laughs> beloved due to his cheerful demeanour, surprisingly dexterous paws, and his ability to avoid humping Justice Kagan, <laughs> which, frankly, could not be said for all the justices. I'm talking to you, Samuel Alito. Bad justice. Bad, bad justice. <laughs> so if Merrick Garland is going to take Scalia's place, we need a dog who captures his essence. And that is why tonight we are asking you, the public, to advise and consent as we pick from among these three fantastic dog justices. <laughs> Any one of whom could effectively portray Merrick Garland. Now, from the left, we have Molly who, if appointed, would be the first miniature schnauzer to serve on the highest dog court in the land. In the middle, there is Biscuit, a pug with surprisingly nuanced opinions on drug sentencing laws and timeouts for sitting on the couch. And finally, there is Winston, a terrier known for his blistering descents and glossy coat. Winston still makes time for his wife of nearly two years and their 37 kids. These... these... Calm down, Winston. These... These are your options, America. Incredibly, they look entirely different from one another, and yet somehow all look exactly like Merrick Garland. <laughs> Please tweet your choice, Molly, Biscuit or Winston, to hashtag Dog Garland, and we will take them into due consideration. Because even though the Senate is refusing to decide something monumentally important, we can still decide on something monumentally stupid. That is our show. Thank you so much for watching tonight. We'll be back in two weeks. Good night. Good boy. Good boy.